you know it is crazy like just by virtue of not having the tattoos though that you could kind of like pass for a regular guy yeah. and, like if you get pulled over like it's one of the main thing the cops are kind of looking out like for a, dude, I stuck out like a store dumb and I used to think that I used to think that I mean I'll grow some hair and uh, you know and try to you know I, I, I with glasses on a collared shirt and <laughs> it, doesn't to, like, work? it doesn't work really? okay. it doesn't work being I'm 6'7 six, six, seven, seven, yeah, I'm 6'7 yeah, yeah. I'd be like oh, how'd they know yeah. how'd they know Get, you stick out like a sore thumb dude They're they're still pulling me out like you know like you know like they 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 be like you know you have no tattoos but like you're guilty by association by the people you're hanging out with mm. you know and uh and yeah i used to think but I, in my mind i used to think that i used to think that you know like oh, maybe i'm just like that or that old style gangster that has no nothing you know mm. like nothing i can go anywhere i could i could you know a chameleon i can you know walk into a business meeting and i can go out into the streets you know mm. like I, I can live that double life it's almost like a prank on the cops who are supposed to like document all of your gang tattoos mm -hmm. just be like ha, yeah they pull me I didn't out. get any ha, Dude, ha. they pull me out and be yeah, like okay. take your yeah pull they pull me out and be like all right here take off all your stuff right you don't and then they would seem annoyed that you didn't have any? <laughs> like you have no <laughs> tattoos huh nothing right that yeah i don't know what you're talking about you know yeah i don't know what you're talking it, it is crazy with the tattoo thing that i feel like when i was like originally going to punk and hardcore shows and shit it was such a code that like you get like your chest and your arms tattooed before you get your hands or your face or, or whatever your neck, yeah and then all of a sudden fast forward 15 years into my life and i'm around all these soundcloud rappers that have their faces fully tattooed and like barely anything else on the rest of their body and they don't give a shit i remember i was i met a guy the same way i was out there in the streets and later in the game man and like he had that teardrop and his neck blasted and all that and he had that like like a, with a t-shirt on you know he looked like like damn yeah but i remember him pulling off all of his t-shirt and shit and it was it was nothing man yeah all the show you know uh, they call it a uh, a warp tour bodysuit <laughs> you get your you get your shins and then your arms like just like right here and Steve. then once you have shorts and a t-shirt on it looks like you got your whole body done <laughs> but it's like if you just get the neck the arms and then the, the shins then you'll be good like it looks like you got everything done i'm kind of like that too because i don't have anything on my back uh, not yet so i'm kind of warping <laughs> yeah but it's like being 40 yeah getting tattooed it's just like what the f do i give a f like you Who know cares? <laughs> it's just it's hard to care at a certain point i don't know i just kind of like ran out of shit that i gave a f about getting tattoos of but um okay so I feel like this is a big question that a lot of people probably have is like once you start becoming part of a gang that's basically like a white pride power gang pecker would gang yeah. yeah is it rooted in just sheer white pride and white solidarity or is it does it inherently have to be attached to hatred or negative feelings towards other races um i think that uh through a white power like power pecker will gain i don't think i don't think it's it's uh it's no hatred through the other races and stuff like that because a lot of times in the system you know like uh it's it's uh, the races are getting along you know mm. and uh besides the bad seeds or people trying to make a name for themselves and you know when riots happen riots happen you know you know you, you have to do it and uh i don't think um i don't i don't think that there is a a hatred uh, going out to the other races when that like, you know you you sort of even out there on the streets you sort of want to like you know uh, of course in the in the in the, in the drug world and uh, when we're out there and we're doing it like we go into it over money same thing we go to it over there in prison it's just people getting in debt you know mm -hmm. of a white guy with a mexican a mexican guy with a white guy you know over heroin you know heroin mm -hmm. debts that they try to keep on the down low because it was your homeboy and now he owes you you know two thousand dollars and you want to get paid and now you know you're having to stab somebody because you know because of this debt you know and that's even though you had a no debt no debt policy you know mm. and uh and that's the stuff that that just happens and and it and you deal with it shaking on the rug and everybody's shaking hands and you know right moving on. but is so would you say it's not an important aspect of that sort of peckerwood gang that you believe that you know black and blacks and mexicans are like inferior or less than or inherently bad is that is that even like a common conversation or is it just understood like we're just to together because we have the same identity and whatever they got going on is only of interest to us in the sense that we sometimes will have issues with each other i think uh man it's a, i don't know if uh because obviously there's a lot of dudes who got hitler tattoos yeah. they got swastikas etc which kind of like 
inherently like if you would choose those tattoos you're basically like choosing anything that represents like racism and hatred I, and, I, and shit they, like and, that and, and, but but a lot of it's like also just kind of symbolic of yeah. whiteness right and, and i believe that like when you're when you're young and you're 15 you know like say these young guys are coming in and the, and they're 16 17 18 and i really think that they're all that mentality is yeah they do hate those other races mm. and you and you are against that other race and you feel like that race is the enemy to 100 percent and i but i think as years go by and the guy gets maybe in a 25 to 26 or 25 to 30 range and he's in and he's done time and stuff like that that a lot of that hatred just sort of it sort of vanishes away because now you know like, I, you know you you get it to to get a name for yourself you know mm -hmm. and, and and you want the people to look at it and know and, and you know and the same way that you're going to get a name for yourself if you're the dude who goes out and kills one of your rivals if you're the white dude who's like yeah well i'm not just part of this crew but i'm also going to be the dude who gets crazy tattoos that are like offensive to normal people in to the real world fight. that's going to make you seem like a more dedicated hardcore participant yeah absolutely right yeah um okay but so i'm, I'm kind of fascinated by that like your whole time in prison there weren't really conflicts between the races like the politics just kind of takes care of that oh hell no there's always conflicts man there, okay. there was times when i had a there was times when um i mean over the stupidest things you know it'd be like uh it'd be like um uh a black guy took the white guy's towel in the shower and un, un you know but like this guy thinks he stole it type thing and then there was times when like they and they come when they come to me right and it'd be like hey girl, you know blah 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 whatever you know and they'd be like all right and so uh, uh mutual respects is so so uh you know you keep your races in check inside there you know so everybody's just not fighting you know and i have to me and two guys have to walk into a hundred you know 50 to 100 you know black guys every from bloods to crypts to you know damu all this stuff and uh and you have to be like hey man this is a scenario you know uh-huh and uh whether you guys meant it or not like he took my guy's towel my, so, guy, so my guy's pissed so right? what has to happen to so make why that my right? guys piss you know well the black guys man we can get a one-on-one -on -one. Okay. my guy my guy wants to fight you i've been in plenty of them you know i fight the whole damn i fight the whole god you fight the whole damn, you're rolling you're rolling you know rolling 30s you're rolling 90s whatever it is you fight the whole you know shit, you're gonna fight him and his four other homies but so in that particular in that situation particular situation i walk up in there and you and you and, you, and, and what it is man you're like you guys want to fight about it you're like here here's your towel he didn't mean to he didn't steal it we'll get you a new one and the, and the problems just get it problems gets get fixed it, it doesn't really come down to a, a fight you know okay it, it's this you know a disrespect to where like a if a guy like and and an, a, a, a guy called me you know a, a, i was working out with a couple of gentlemen inside you know and this guy was like you know called the guy I was working out with, with the bitch dude and uh, i was like telling the white guy i'm like look man you gotta you gotta do something and, uh, and then uh, they're like well how about you would you ain't you know I was like, I, I ain't back. I can't back down for no, you know, for no fate. Mm. You know, come on back here, man. I fought him, and I fought all five of his homies right there. And the, you know, back to back to back, running back to back to back to back to back, man. And everybody else there allowed this to be like and, a um, fair one-on-one -on -one thing. And, it, and, and there was nothing. I mean, it was probably twenty-five to, you know, at least twenty-five black guys right there, and maybe and maybe three white guys. And I'm gonna tell you, and there was homies there, but the homies weren't doing nothing. And uh, it was uh, three black guys, or three white guys, and the one white guy that you know that he was just just not feeling it, man. He ran away. I, you know, I had a green light, man. You know, and uh, and I'm just saying that um, I ran it with every single one of them. Right.